So we're in that part of the year, that short window of time when you can see the color of the trees changing. And it's a great opportunity to make some artwork inspired by that magical moment. So I'm gonna show you how to make this using a bit of paint, some paper, a toothbrush. It's really easy. Right, you're going to need two sheets of paper. I'm using A3, but A4 is fine. A pencil, some scissors, some tape, an old toothbrush, some paint, and I'm using poster paint in autumnal colors, and you'll need some leaves. Now this could not be easier to make, but it's full of skills that young people should be learning. There's a bit of spray painting in there with the toothbrush, not with a can. There's cutting out, there's stenciling, there's pattern making, there's observation of nature. It's packed full of learning opportunities, and it's really easy. Use the tape to stick down the edges of the first piece of paper. Stick the tape to your jumper first though, to stop it from being too sticky and ripping your paper at the end. Place your second sheet of paper on top, grab your pencil and a leaf. Now I'm using just one leaf, but you could use more. Gently hold your leaf down and draw around it. Draw a line that goes from the leaf to the bottom of the page. Then grab some scissors and cut along the line to cut out the leaf. Make sure to cut it out in one go so that your leaf shape can be pulled out giving you a positive and negative leaf stencil. Now if your pupils or young ones struggle with cutting then I have a tutorial to help with that and I'll link it below. Take the outside stencil and tape it over your bottom sheet of paper. Now if you have some flappy bits, just use a bit of blue tack to hold them down. Grab your paints, a bit of water and your toothbrush and start to spray the inside leaf shape. Now you'll probably want to cover your table first, but I have an art studio so I don't have to.
Now spray the different colours on top of each other, it's okay for them to overlap. And I like to put different colours into the corner spaces so that it is similar to the autumn leaves found on the ground. Gently peel the stencil away. Now this looks brilliant, so if you want to keep it to just this, then great. But I want mine to pop a little bit more, so I'm going to cover the leaf with the positive stencil and using a bit of blue tack to hold it down. Now I'm going to use a vibrant blue paint to contrast from the other colours used and I'll stick a bit of red in there to give it a purple tinge. Very gently, and I mean very gently, peel the tape away and then admire your awesome creation. You are mega. So I really hope that was useful to you. And if you want to show your appreciation and help this channel grow, the fact that you're still watching right now, that's really helping because YouTube loves people sticking to the end of the video. But if you want to do that little bit extra, make sure you subscribe, click like, that's the thumbs up, um, and watch all the other videos on the channel. That makes a big difference because it shows YouTube that you're interested in this kind of content. Um, so thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next one.